I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. Greetings one and all, and welcome to a fellow Bravers game showcase of something that's a bit backwards to what we did originally. This is Maniac Mansion, and joining me for this lovely showcase is... Hello. Oh, uh, is that my cue? Yeah, that's oh. your cue. <laughs> I thought you were going to announce my name. And then I was going to do the line I, I had prepared for, but no, you just had to leave me floating there like a total, like a total break now, didn't you? <laughs> okay, so. do, you, do you want to restart this recording? Uh, no, whatever, uh, whatever, it's not important. So, <laughs> okay, uh, it, okay, okay, Devar, my good friend, uh, Devar, Devar. We're, in, we're in for the ride of our lives. Dr. Fred is going insane once again. He kidnapped Purple and Green Tentacle, locked them in the basement, and threatened to kill them. So, we have to go back. Uh, uh, Mad Hog. Yes? You got. I've. Uh, I've already. We've already done that. What? Uh. Not, wait, we're not playing Day of the Tentacle? No, don't you see? We're playing the first one, Maniac Mansion. Oh. I. I already oh. did a showcase of Day of the Tentacle. Well, uh, you cannot pretend for me to know. I'm a very busy man. But anyway, so you are, you are telling me we're, we're not going to play the one with the time-traveling hamster. We're playing the one with the exploding hamster. Just so we're clear. Yep, we're playing the exploding hamsters. Ex okay, let's... Okay, in that case, let's play exploding hamster mansion. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, folks... This is Maniac Mansion. You know, not not much that needs to be said. It's basically the first game ever to use the fabled scum engine. I have something to say about Maniac Mansion, if you if you may give me the permission, my friend. Go ahead, my friend. Well, Maniac Mansion basically is your parody of the popular 1980s slasher flicks of. The, the 80s, for example. We have the classic setting of uh, of classic archety archetypical teenagers of the time going into some, well, crazily dangerous and stupidly dangerous uh, situation, setting, haunted house with mad scientists and creatures and monsters and mad science and science in general to save the main character's girlfriend the classic damsel in distress that that needs to be saved because we are talking about old school video games and if it, and, and if it's, if it's they're not a damsel in distress to save and a hero to go save her then then you're doing it wrong basically <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so uh, should we start this yes we should thing? start right to save time uh, we'll be going with this guy because we can't go with anyone else other than him, except uh, for two of us that could join him. Yeah, uh, too bad the main character is basically useless. I mean, every other character has its own, his or her own specific ability that will be activated depending the uh, uh, occasion. For example, the the red-haired uh, queen of punk rock over there, Razor, that I'm, choose Razor, yes? That I've got my mouse around. Yes, she is the she, she's good with music, which means she can compose music, and which leads which, which will eventually lead to a specific resolution of the game, etc. Then there's Bernard. By the way, choose Bernard. We yes, have to choose Bernard, we have to choose him. Who's basically um, uh, Bernard, president of the physics uh, of the physics club, and president of the physics club, winner of the college. Uh, College Geek Award. 
basically is your average nerd, in case it wasn't obvious enough by the looks of him, and he's kind of a recheck from Revenge of the Nerds. Okay, so we have Bernard, he's good at repairing things, but he's a total and utter coward that will make, that will make Shaggy from Scooby-Doo look like Captain Bravado, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, then I, I was then uh, what what other character should we choose? Do not do not choose Jeff the Sony. No, we do not want to choose this guy. Choose this guy. Just in so case you're wondering, folks, he, he is uh, useless. He does nothing except wears no shoes. Meaning that uh, in game logic, he should be able to pass p things without being heard. But that is completely useless to us in this game. A stealth game, by the way. So yeah, if he were solid snake, solid Jeff. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just choose the rock star there. I mean this one, the good yeah. old. Yeah, but, uh, at least she's hot. Razor, so. lead singer for the punk band Razor and the Scummets. Ah. Uh, Reference. Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta have a bunch of those when it comes to Lucas Films and Lucas Arts. Of course, uh, Scum Bar. In our BBC, we this is where we love our grog. Let's anyway, get going. We are Madog and the Bar, mighty adventure players. Twenty years ago. Uh. uh Oh god, oh god, this seems like the beginning of a Mystery Science Theater 3000 movie. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely... If this was made into a movie, it would definitely be riffable. Oh, and uh, speaking of which, did you know there was a TV show based... Oh yeah, I was gonna say that to you, actually. I actually uh, mentioned that in the Day of the Tentacle one, in, in the th showcase, but I ended up not saying very much on it because I only knew it existed. Not only it existed, but at the time of its production, between 1990 and 1993, it was fairly popular. It had three seasons, and won even some awards, even. It's, uh, wow, it's, you wouldn't believe it. I've seen an episode of it on YouTube. It's, okay, uh, this looks like the old mansion. I'm sure I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. It's up to us to get her out. This could be real dangerous. If anyone wants to back out... Okay! I'm doing Bernard. Bernard, don't be a tuner head. It's Sandy's... It's Sandy we're talking about. Okay. I heard Dr. Fred was kinda cute. Oh, that's promising. Okay, let's go rescue Sandy. Uh... Oh. Yeah. R what's her name again? Razor, was it? Razor. Yeah, You. if you think... Dr. Fred's going to be anything but cute. You're going to be sadly disappointed. He's got a slight German accent on him. Well, you know, some girls might find a bad boy with uh, with blue skin very attractive. Yeah. No, uh, I mean, Dr. Manhattan was hot in his, in his days. Now, wasn't he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, first, thing, first thing first. Let's familiarize the size with the controls here. So, um, go check out the sign over there. The sign over here, folks. We yeah. have to use the read command, not the look. Read. Yeah, because it's very, very annoying. Warning! First busters will be horribly mutilated. That well, sounds really lovely. I never felt so welcomed in my life. Oh, yeah, I never felt so welcomed either. It just makes me want to go to the house now. Yep. It's not like we can just walk away, go to the latest, to the closest pizza parlor. No, we have to go inside it. And it's but not then, like we have to go to the. We can't call the police or anything. Oh, and by the way, uh, go 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 back a little bit. What you yeah. mean over here? There, there is a bush right beside the stairs. Yes, I can see that. Push it away. Okay. Just, this is like your typical, you know, puzzle game, folks. Just choose your commands here. And I can't move it. Pull it Can away. I pull it away, then? And we're really, really picky. Anyway, there is a grate there. And I can you, can, you cannot enter it right now. You don't have the right tools. But no, it's there. It's important. Of course. Now, just so you know, folks, uh, 
I am playing this blind while Madhog here has actually won barely on this game. Indeed I did. Indeed I did. Let's check the the mailbox. Have we got any mail? Opening mailboxes! Maniac Mansion! Oh, <gasps> That's so awesome! Yeah. And, oh, there's no mail from from George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Okay, let's send... Of course, if anyone... Of course, for the ones who never played Day of the Tentacle, that joke might have flown right over their head. <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, if they saw Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure, they might have been wondering, hey, 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 George Washington wasn't in that film, Abraham Lincoln was. <laughs> let's yeah. just enter the door. Yeah. I know this part. You have to pull back the carpet, and there's a key on the floor. Shall we, shall we pick it up, there, Mad Hog? Uh, wait up uh, to, you know, to uh, to risk to save some time. You could already perform the action of of use the door, use the key with the door instead of yeah. Instead of, you know, it's it's let's, an old trick. Let's do this. Oh, and, ooh, ooh, creepy! You're telling me. Uh, You're the one playing, so yes, I'm telling you. Just because, Just... because, folks, like I explained last time, if you saw my Day of the Tentacles showcase, um, this game you can most likely die around any corner. So, because of that, saving. Yes. Save the body game every five seconds. Believe me, that's not an exaggeration. You will die horribly. Yes. Even, uh, from mutilation to live burial to nuclear explosion. I am not kidding. Yeah, he is not kidding, folks. I will attest to that. Let's go in. Okay, first thing first. Uh, oh, I don't think you can open the clock. I believe you can, but there is a key for that. Oh, By the way, Dr. I, it, it's it's not the same clock from Day of the Tentacle. It doesn't lead to a, a secret laboratory, unfortunately. Oh, I was hoping for that, actually. First thing first, go inside that door on your left. Oh God. Uh... Open it. Oh, I don't want to go in. Oh, oh, listen, no, don't start that now. You you have a commitment. It's just a kitchen, all right? A oh. kitchen, a kitchen with knives and blood stains. Nothing nor nothing out of normal here. What was the blooming chainsaw? Yeah, and there is no gasoline for the chainsaw in this game because all the gasoline was actually lost on Mars in Zack McCracken and the Alien Mind Benders, <laughs> which, which was the game that came after this one. I cannot believe you referenced that. Hey, I am a I am a bit of I am the bit of infinite wisdom when it comes to the. Hey, we got a cutscene. Well, my dear, hope you're having fun. Within minutes, it'll be all be over. You'll be hooked up to my machine, getting your pretty brain sucked out. You better get away with this! Baby and his friends will rescue me! You and your meteor can eat slime! That's yeah. what she thinks. <laughs> uh, I think he wants to rape her. By the way, eat slime? Seriously? Slime is a disgusting thing. I mean, have you seen Ghostbusters? <laughs> yes, like, it's not really a nice thing to get all over you. And oh, anyway, the uh, knives are glued to the wall, apparently. Wow, that's very useful. Uh, you can pick the chain, so I'll leave it there. It's completely useless anyway. And I want to take it with me, just in case. Okay. Right, let's... Uh, um, I don't know why. I want to save here already. Yes. Yes, yes, you need to save right now because there is an uh, impending danger on the... You had to tell oh. me that now, didn't you? Well, of course, uh, you want me to tell me, what, at the beginning of the game? When you, when you kill off, when it kills off the tension? Duh! Okay, let's see what we got up ahead. Oh my god! Ah, no! Where's the stairs? Where's the stairs? Out, 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 out! Not the stairs! Not the stairs! Another room, you idiot! <laughs> Open the door! <laughs> I, I, I almost forgot that Edna. Sorry. Oh, my heart just went... Oh, oh god. You're going to need a flashlight for this? Oh. 
I believe, yeah, you, I, believe, I believe the flashlight uh, needs batteries. Oh, that oh. was... Uh, no. Listen, just turn on. Turn on. Turn, Not you. Turn on. Not, oh, turn on. Not you, the flashlight, you burn. <laughs> no, turn on the flashlight. Yeah, it needs batteries, as he, as you said. So go back, go back to the kitchen. Now it should be clear. Oh. All right. That, in <laughs> case you didn't notice, folks, that was Edna. Uh, yes. You do okay. not want to be caught by her. Uh, it's game over, man. If he, if she cuts you, game over, man. Okay, open the disgusting-looking fridge. Yeah, it's got brown stuff on it, and we have everything. Right. Uh, where's, ah, here's the pickup. Uh, I have Perfect to... box of ketchup. Ooh, uh, tasty. Yeah, delicious. And we have a cabbage, I think that was. No, it was lettuce. Ah, lettuce. Pepsi. Lovely. Hey, but they, have, they have Pepsi in this. As I was saying, locally grown butter lettuce. <laughs> right, let's go in here. Oh, I do... There is, there is nothing to fear. Okay, the bar. Keep calm and play Maniac Mansion. Yes, they need to keep calm and keep playing this game. Ah, look, there's some chicken. Um, was, was some special eaten. rotten chicken. Yeah, that... I mean, the, the, diet, the, the diet of this family is so healthy and inspiring, I mean. Yeah, it definitely sounds very... Uh... Uh, appetizing what they're having. I totally forgot about Edna being there in the fridge. I always forget about Edna. Uh, I always remember Edna. She scares me in this game. Uh, the door is locked. Oh, yeah. Gee, I'm hungry. Uh, good that, old... Good old... Cr Listen, here's the suggestion. Yeah? Stay, uh, stay in these two rooms before the next cat scene. Why is that? You'll see, because he's coming to the kitchen, that's why. Ah, uh, let's see. We can pick up these fruit drinks. Pick everything, as always. A jar. Just like any other adventure game, folks, you just have to pick up anything. Yes, half of this stuff will prove to be useless, though. Oops. Oh, I hope... Oh, no, I hope that didn't give him me... Dum -dum. Dum -dum. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Dude, this reminds me of that scene from Day of the Tentacle in which Benjamin Franklin was flying the kite, the kite just by the dum de dum. This is my memory how it works. Yeah. I think that door is locked for now. In fact, it is. And you will need something to uh, absorb the liquid from the grate. But maybe it is not important in this game because you don't have the photographer, so it's pointless. Yeah. Es essentially, folks, we just have to use what we're given, when we're, that's being Bernard with his uh, repair skill and Razor with her music, I think it was. Speaking of which, should we try to play as one of the other characters as well? Yeah, we should do that at some point. Uh, should I... Uh, let's see. You need a flashlight in type A. You should be able to open the radio, I think. Ah, so let's see. Or can we open the old-fashioned radio? Ah, what if we would have needed something? Okay, I what think for that you either need Razor or Bernard, because I think the radio is broken and it's repairing, but I'm not quite sure. Try to turn on the radio. Okay, let's turn on the radio. Ah, turn it off, turn it off. This. Okay, this game was suddenly turning into Silent Hill. Yeah, <laughs> or or the sound of when Slenderman comes. Oh, and you might be noticing there is a key up that chandelier. Wait, is there? Let me see. Yeah. Yes, it's a key, and you cannot reach it, of course. Let's see. What's? Can I? No, I can't. Ah, uh, where is where is green? Where is green tentacles? Loud uh, music boxes when you need them. You know. <laughs> Yes, yeah, just to... Tiny now, banana You have to remind me of that one. Let's go with 
Wow, 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 wow. Shall we bring Ben? Shall we bring Bernard in? Oh yeah, but why not? I mean, he, he... has to be in at some point. <laughs> the poor lad. Come on, Bernard. It's your time to shine. Yay! Even though you're not the main character right now. Right. I believe okay. what we need. We'll probably need a few things off Dave, <laughs> won't we? Wait, wait, stop a moment. I believe the gargoyle head on the right of the stairs can be moved to open the secret passage over there. Let me see. Uh, pull this one? Hey! I am a freaking god. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, no, 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 you, uh, basically, you need, a, you need a one person to hold the gargoyle open and the other to enter. Oh, that's just... you buggers. That's... Classic, classic, classic Cla collaborative adventure game tropes that I enjoyed so much in games like uh, Goblins. Yeah, I love the Goblins. Especially, I love the first and third one the most. I only played the third one, I should say. I also played Woodroof and the Schnibel of Azimuth, one of the most ridiculous titles ever. <laughs> There's anyway, I, sh I, was, I would suggest you to leave that thing uh, as it is right now because you don't have a you don't have batteries for the torch and you need and you need torching for the door down there. Yeah. And uh, you probably need Bernard to go inside because he's the one good at repairing stuff. Yeah. So he so, needs to go in there. Yep. He needs to go in the dark and scary basement. <laughs> yeah, it's scary when you're here, Dave, just standing there. Can we just pick up this, or do we have to do something with it? I try. I mean, fix, fix. You have the option to fix things. Okay, let's fi fix it. Fix it. Ah, oh, we need, need something. You need tools to fix things, of course. You don't have tools right now, so you cannot. You can. So you can only fix this. Okay. So. Okay. What do you have on you, Dave? Key, a flashlight, a chainsaw, a broken bottle of ketchup, a lettuce, can of Pepsi. Surprised they could get away with that. Kind of webs. Oh, don't you don't you like don't you love eating, don't you like bullet spaces? <laughs> yeah. That, that space behind the character's back where you can you can have as many objects in storage. Uh, like, yeah, and put it into the magical pants. Yes, the magical pantaloons, or straight out of your AO, but that's. Yeah, or if you like Simon the Sorcerer, through his lovely, awesome hat. Yeah, that one, that that hat is indubitably something. Mm, so, right. Uh, oh, just for kicks, uh, let's have Dave uh, go open the gargoyle head thingy, and let's have Bernard going down there to see what's what's this, what's this, and what's that. Okay, okay. Let's see. Good, we'll we'll good. save. We'll save here because. Okay. Actually, I want we want them both in the same room together, just so then it's ready to go on cue. So, uh, Dave, why are you always ignoring me? Why don't you? Why don't you? Why won't you even look at me? I'm your friend, aren't I? <laughs> Shut up, Bernard, and get in there. I want to go. I don't want to go in there. Will you do it for a Scooby snack? No. Oh, will you do it for two <laughs> Scooby snacks? Uh oh. Will you do it for a? Will you do it if I want to punch you in the face? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going in, but you cannot see shit because you don't have the torch and the batteries and let's weird killing grumps. Let's just go in anyway. Furnace. Apparently there is a furnace, even though you cannot see it, but the game can see it, so uh, I guess it counts. Uh, okay. it's, it's probably like Indiana Jones in the Lost Atlantis game. Basically, touch he touches things. To find I out what it is. Yeah, I love that game too, my friend. <laughs> oh, it's good to know that, you know, you played similar games to me. My friend, I grew up playing and only playing LucasArts adventure games. There's a door over here. Some Sierra too. Ah, the door's locked. Wow, it's amazing you can actually see in the dark and see that the door is locked. Without even touching it. It's yeah, um, amazing. Wow. Dude, well, are you are you wearing X-ray glasses? I want one. Yes, I would like the pair too. Not for the reasons you're thinking, folks. And oh dear, I think I'm stuck. So far, you just compromised yourself. Oh no. Uh, it there should be you. There should be an option to actually to actually you know see things when you don't touch them. I uh, know it's. 
call it. Uh, never mind. Uh, hmm. Let's okay. see. Uh, by the way, you have the op- you uh, you might notice you have the option to give objects to a co- to a companion. Yeah, pretty much like in the other game, really, folks. We can give items to each to each other, but rather through the chronojons. Chronojons, spectacular invention. Basically, you can give objects to each other in the name of the tentacle by flushing them down time toilets. Yeah, but in this one, it's just you know your standard. Here, have this lovely piece of chainsaw. Wait, piece of chainsaw? What am I saying? I want a piece of chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's let's just wait. Wait, stop! I have a song coming. Oh no! It's peanut butter chainsaw time. Peanut butter chainsaw time. Peanut butter. <laughs> chainsaw yeah. Hey, yeah, Whatever. Let's go upstairs. Okay, but I think we're going to the time where I think I need to uh, pause the recording here. So, uh, let's save here, so I feel a bit more safer. <laughs> yes. And next time, folks, may you join us for another lovely episode of Fellow Braver's Game Showcase collaboration with Team Yume of Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion! It sounds really rock. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, bye everyone. See you next time. Take care.